Now we're often going to encounter problems where we need to add two vectors together. So for example, suppose we had the problem that a boy walks two kilometers north, then one kilometer east, and we're asked what's his displacement from the starting point. Now, if we were to write this down as an equation, we could say, well, the total displacement is equal to the displacement of the first vector plus the displacement of the second vector, where the first vector is the two kilometers north and the second vector is the two kilometers east. To solve this, it's much easier to represent our vectors as arrows. So we can draw an arrow going up to show the two kilometers north and we can show an arrow going to the left to represent the one kilometer east. Now when we're adding vectors we always add our arrows going from head to tail. So the head of the arrow is the bit with the arrow head and the tail is the other end. So we take our first vector which is two kilometers north and to the head of this vector, we add the second vector, which is the one kilometer east. So now we've got a diagram looking like this. Now the resultant, which is our answer, our sum, goes from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. So we can draw that on our diagram now. Usually when we draw on resultants, we give them a double arrowhead to distinguish them from the other vector. So now we've got a nice vector diagram showing how to solve this problem. So now all we need to do is get into the nitty gritty of how to solve it. In this case, it's not too bad because these are right angle triangles. So we can use Pythagoras and trigonometry to work out the magnitude and the direction of our resultant displacement. And so the magnitude, just given by Pythagoras, the magnitude of the resultant vector is equal to the square root of the first magnitude of the first vector squared plus the magnitude of the second vector squared. And so this is equal to the square root of two squared plus one squared, so the square root of five, which is 2.2 kilometers. But because it's a vector, we also need to give the direction, so we need to work out our angle. So if we label theta on our triangle, we need to solve for theta. In this case, right angle triangle, so we can use our soccer toa. And here we've got the adjacent and the opposite. So we're going to use the toa part, the tan part. So we've got tan theta is equal to the magnitude of the second vector divided by the magnitude of the first vector. And so theta is equal to the inverse tan of one on two. And this, when we solve it on the calculator, gives us 27 degrees. So the resulting displacement from where we start, where the boy started, is 2.2 kilometers, and we can write the angle as north 27 degrees east. Now it gets a little bit harder if we're not dealing with right angle triangles. In these cases, we may need to use the sine rule and the cosine rule. So let's have a look at one of these examples now. So the question is, a dog runs 500 meters north 45 degrees east and then 200 meters east. What is the displacement of the dog from its starting point now? So a good way to approach this question is to start by drawing a diagram. So the dog runs 500 meters north, 45 degrees east. So if we consider a little compass down here, here's north, here's east. The dog is running 500 meters, so this magnitude is 500 meters, and that angle in there is 45 degrees. After doing this, the dog then runs 200 meters east. So we draw this second vector at the head of the first vector. So we've got 200 meters east this way. So this has a magnitude of 200 meters. And what we're asked to find is the displacement from the starting point. So our resultant vector goes from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. So let's use this little tool to draw this a little more neatly. So that is our resultant vector there and we can draw the double arrowhead to show that this is our resultant vector. 
Now this one's a little bit harder to solve because we don't have nice right angles in here. We will need to use a little bit of geometry. So we can work out what this angle in here is because we know that this angle down here is 45 degrees and so this angle in here must also be 45 degrees and this angle in here is 90 degrees. One way that we know that that angle is 45 degrees is if we dropped down a straight line down here and drew it across here, we'd have a right angle triangle. If that angle in there is 90 degrees, then the other two angles must sum up to give us 90 degrees as well because the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, so that must be 45 degrees in there. So let's label these sides. I'll switch to another color to label them. Let's call this side, which we don't know, length A. We'll call this one length B, and we'll call this one length C. And then often in trigonometry, we label the angles opposite the sides with the same letters, but with capitals. So this angle in here is A, this angle down here is capital C, and this angle here is B. And we've just said that angle A is equal to 45 degrees plus 90 degrees, so that is equal to 135 degrees. So to work out the displacement of the dog, what we need to do is work out the magnitude of this vector here with length A, and then we're also going to need to work out the angle. So let's start by working out the magnitude. In this case, we know the included angle between two sides. So in this case, we can use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule tells us that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And so now we can just substitute in. We've got b squared, that's 500 squared, plus 200 squared minus 2 times 500 times 200 times cos of 135. Solving this on the calculator, we get 431,421, so that's a squared. So taking the square root of that, we've got that a is equal to 656 metres, which just looking at the lengths looks reasonable. It's a bit longer than b, but not too much longer. Okay, now, since this displacement is a vector, we also need to get the direction. So if we work out this angle C here, then we'll be able to tell the angle in here. So that's the angle that we need to find to give our, our bearings. Okay, so to work out this angle C here, we can use what's known as the sine rule. So the sine rule tells us that sine A on A is equal to sine B on B, B, sorry, little b, the length, which is equal to sine C on C. Now in this case, we know now length A and we know the angle A and we're trying to find the angle C. So we'll want to use this part and this part. So we can rearrange this to write sine C is equal to C over A sine A. And now we can substitute in. C has a length of 200 meters. A is 656 meters. And angle A is equal to 135. So we can now solve that one on the calculator and we end up with 12.4 degrees. So that's that angle C in here. From north to east, we've got 90 degrees. So from north to here, that's also 45 degrees. They both add to give 90. And so this green angle that we're trying to find is equal to 45 degrees plus our 12.4 degrees. So that is equal to 57.4 degrees. So this tells us that our final answer is equal to 656 meters at north 57.4 degrees east. That is the displacement of the dog from his starting point.